The movie starts in 1967, while the Vietnam War was happening. During this time, a group of soldiers from Bravo Company is exploring the forest close to the border of Cambodia. One of the people in the platoon is Chris Taylor. He is a new soldier who is observing the experienced soldiers. Taylor finds the dead body of a soldier from Vietnam while looking in the forest. He becomes very still and does not want to continue. As a beginner, this is the first time he has seen an enemy's body up close. But then, Staff Sergeant Barnes comes up from behind him and tells Chris to keep walking. After a while, Lieutenant Wolf finishes looking and tells the captain where they are. Taylor sits down and coughs very loudly. Barnes looks at Taylor with pity and asks Doc to see how Taylor is doing. Doc and Sergeant Elias assist him by taking off his backpack and telling him that he has a lot of unnecessary things inside. Later that night, Barnes, Elias, Wolf, and Sergeant O'Neill think about surprising the enemy. Barnes tells Elias to get his team ready for something, but Elias says it's O'Neill's team's turn to do it. O'Neill said that most of his team will not be at work the next day. As a result, Elias doesn't have a choice, but Barnes tells O'Neill to join the ambush too. After that, the group getting ready to attack gets ready for their mission. A new person named Gardner talks to Taylor, while Elias brings him along. Taylor is then put in Texas group. As the rain keeps coming down until it gets dark, the soldiers go into the forest. Tex finishes his night patrol, and it is now Taylor's turn to take over. Tex explains to him how to utilize the claymores, just in case hostile soldiers approach their location. Tex falls asleep, so Taylor has to watch out for a long time. After Taylor finished working, it was Junior's turn to stay awake and keep watch. However, Junior fell asleep instead of doing his duty. Taylor wakes up a couple of hours later and realizes that Junior is sleeping while on duty. With only him being awake, he is unsure about using the claymores and doesn't know how to proceed. The second group of soldiers fights the Vietnamese forces, and the loud bangs wake up Texas soldiers. When the fight starts, Taylor can't turn on his claymore because the safety is off. The gardener dies in the fight, but Tex and Taylor are only a little injured. Junior claims that Taylor was sleeping while he was supposed to be working, but Taylor says that it is not true. Barnes brings the group together after helping the injured, and tells them about the risks of fighting. Taylor received a warning because he was caught sleeping while working. He comes back to the camp a few days later, hurt. King and Crawford say hello to him as the three of them clean toilets because O'Neill told them to. The recruits believe that the sergeants are not treating them fairly, and they are using them to do small tasks. After they finish their work, King asks Taylor to go to their regular spot, the underground. Taylor encounters many soldiers that they already know, including Elias. He becomes friends with a group of people who smoke marijuana, but doesn't get close to Barnes and the people who follow him. The group of soldiers goes on a mission a few months later, on January 1st. Taylor is cautious as they progress, with Barnes right behind them. They stop suddenly when Barnes sees something in the bushes. They find a deserted underground shelter made by Vietnamese soldiers. Elias goes into the underground shelter, while the group spreads out to look around. Afterwards, Wolf tells Taylor and Washington to explore the area more thoroughly. Elias sees someone running away, and immediately shoots him. Two more groups of soldiers find a map that shows important places in a small camp. They take it because they understand that it is valuable and will be useful to them. Unfortunately, it's a trick, and they are exploded. Elias quickly goes back up after hearing a big boom. After the meeting, he tells Wolf that there are many traps in the area. To keep going with their mission, they need the engineers to turn off the traps. Wolf has been told that the bad guys have been found in a village by the river. The group of soldiers leave, but a soldier named Washington is missing. So, Elias is with four guys and they are waiting for the engineers, while also looking for Washington. The group of soldiers finds Washington's body tied to a tree by the river. Barnes is really angry about it, so he goes into the village because he thinks that's where the enemies are. He sees a Vietnamese person from a small town trying to run away, and without mercy, he shoots him. The group enters people's houses, finds different weapons, and makes chaos in the neighborhood. Meanwhile, Taylor sees two per people who are taking refuge in a house. He says he will reveal something, but Francis comforts him. O'Neill and Bunny show up. They watch Taylor aim and fire his gun at the ground while talking to the people who live here. However, the people manage to convince him to stop. Bunny says he is scared, and hits and kills innocent people with his weapon. Barnes finally finds and asks questions to the leader of the village. He asks about the weapons, which Lerner translates into Vietnamese. Lerner tells him that the village leader had to work with the Vietnamese soldiers because they were killing innocent people and threatening to kill everyone in the village if they didn't support them. Barnes doesn't think the chief's excuse is true, and the other soldiers start to team up against the chief. The chief's spouse endeavors to mediate, but Barnes violently murders her as well. He at that point debilitates to slaughter the chief's girl in the event that he does not participate in finding the foe. Taking after that, Elias comes into the town and finds the broad destruction caused by Barnes, uncovering his forceful character. He charges at him, and the two begin battling. 
Wolf steps in to halt them, and advises them that he has gotten informational from the captain to burn the town, and annihilate the weapons. Elias at that point inquires Wolf why he didn't halt Barnes, but he evades the subject inside and out. The officers take after the lieutenant's orders, and burn everything within the settlement, annihilate the weapons, and take the inhabitants with them. Afterward at the camp, Wolf and Elias meet with the captain, where Elias plans to yield an illicit murdering complaint. On the off chance that an occasion is demonstrated, the captain informs them that a court military will be held. The unit is presently partitioned, due to the strife between the two sergeants. Elias and Taylor gaze at the stars at night, whereas they talk about the earlier occurrence in profundity. They stand there gently observing the night sky. The unit is dispatched back to the bunker the next day, to encourage review the zone. Many minutes afterward, the aggressors snare them, and the region is entangled in a rough struggle. Elias meets with Wolf and Barnes, to examine his arrange for assaulting the enemy from the side. Barnes opposes this idea sometime recently taking off. In the meantime, Taylor tries to spare Lerner, who was harmed within the firefight, and bring him to dock. At the same minute, Wolf demands a disgust strike, but enters the incorrect facilitates, harming one of their warriors, and rankling Barnes. Elias at that point experiences Taylor, and brings him in conjunction with Crawford and Ra. The party escapes to a position where they can end the invader's development. Elias voyages to the waterway alone, flanking the adversary from behind. Barnes offers to Wolf that everybody withdraw with the company, whereas he looks for Elias. At the same minute, Taylor and the others fight the drawing near a foe. They viably conquer their enemies, driving them to escape. Crawford, on the other hand, is shot within the lung, but survives. Barnes in the long run finds the three folks, and tells them to return to the company. He assures Taylor that Elias is still battling someplace, and Taylor guarantees him that he will discover him. When Barnes looks for Elias, he battles the remaining enemies. Elias oversees to overwhelm them after many experiences. He bumps into Barnes as he plans to return to his squad. He is calm to see him, but Barnes baffles him by shooting him. In the interim, Taylor gets to be concerned, and returns to the bush in look of Elias. He runs into Barnes, advising him that Elias is now not lively. Taylor suspects him and returns to the company. He takes no Elias on the field, harmed and escaping the foes, whereas the men are cleared by helicopter. They attempt to spare Elias, but it's as well late, all they can do is observe him pass on. Taylor educates everybody at the underground camp that Barnes killed Elias. Ra and the others are far-fetched of his claim, and exhort them not to assault Barnes. Everybody knows he is more grounded than all of them. Barnes strolls in and catches their chat. He teaches them on what it takes to keep a military machine running appropriately. He at that point challenges everybody to kill him, but no one responds. Taylor assaults Barnes from behind as he is planning to take off. Barnes overpowers him, and draws a cut, planning to murder him. Ra mediates and convinces him that slaughtering an individual warrior isn't worth it. Barnes falters, sometime recently cutting Taylor's cheek and taking off the scene. The squad before long returns to the range where Elias was shot. They accept an foe division is adjacent, and are bracing for the most exceedingly bad. Whereas Taylor and Ruler examine the contrast between Elias and Barnes, the men plan their foxholes. O'Neill comes an instrument lord to board the airship, and take off the war zone, clearing out Taylor behind. Afterward that night, foe powers crawl up to the platoon's edge. Francis is observing for enemies in Taylor's foxhole. Ra shows up suddenly, and notifies them of the perilous circumstance in which the foes have encompassed the contingent. Afterward, he advises of an looming disgust strike. A injured warrior at that point approaches Taylor's foxhole, and educates him that the aggressors are numerous. Francis prompts Taylor to take off, but the last mentioned demands on remaining. They in the long run come over the enemies. They battle them bravely, shooting and activating claymores. The battling unexpectedly comes to an end, and they listen a shriek from the enemy's side. Taylor hastily orders Francis to exit the foxhole, and they oversee to escape some time recently the RPG arrives. The chaotic experience will definitely partition the two. Junior and Bunny are securing their foxholes. Rabbit insults the adversaries by terminating at them. When he sees their overpowering numbers, Junior escapes the combat. He incidentally bumps into a tree out of freeze and gets to be oblivious. With as it were Bunny, he is dwarfed, and instantly killed. Junior, shockingly, endures the same destiny. O'Neill resolves to cover up behind faux cadavers until the fight is over to spare himself. And Wolf's squad is in the long run assaulted by the adversaries, which murders him. Since of the catastrophe of the perished officers, the captain chooses to dispatch an airstrike on the front line, to put in conclusion to it all. Barnes kills the foes in hand-to-hand -hand combat at the same minute. Taylor tracks Barnes down to educate him almost a disgust strike, but he is as well expended by his bloodlust, indeed endeavoring to kill Taylor. The disgust strike all of a sudden bombs the front line, thumping the two oblivious. The another morning, Taylor wakes up injured, and bumbles around his environment. He finds an adversary ambush rifle, 
and watches Barnes pulling himself absent. As he sees Taylor with a weapon, the last mentioned demands to pass on in step. Taylor shoots Barnes and takes off him to pass on without delay. Before long, the protect team finds Taylor and transports him to the harmed range. When he sees Francis, he tells him they're both going domestic. Ra offers them goodbye as they are transported by Chopper. Taylor takes note various bodies scattered all through the field. The youthful officer wails as he realizes the brutality of the Vietnam War, which is able frequent him for the rest of his life. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please turn on the notifications and click the like button to support the channel. See you in the next video.